Hi YouTube. So this problem is problem number 34 from chapter 4 from the section on mesh currents. So let's describe the circuit here. We have three independent voltage sources. Here we have um, 230 volts, 115 volts, and 460 volts. And um, the resistor values are 1, 6, 3, 2, 4, and 5. In part A, we need to find, use the mesh method to find the total power developed. In part B, we need to prove that our answer is correct by showing that power developed is equal to power dissipated. Okay, so let's get started. So, we have three meshes. And remember that a mesh is a closed loop that doesn't in, uh, encapsulate any other loops. So we have three meshes, one here, two here, and three here. So, I'm going to... Um, label three mesh currents in those loops. So this one I'm going to call IA, this one I'm going to call IB, and this one I'm going to call IC. Those are my three mesh currents. And um, we're going to go through each loop, each closed mesh, and use KVL, Kirchhoff's voltage law, um, to um, create three equations and solve for three unknowns, or three unknown mesh currents. So remember Kirchhoff's voltage, voltage law says the sum of all the voltage drops around a closed loop must equal zero. So let's go ahead and get started at mesh at IA. So mesh at IA, I'm gonna go here, we have one ohm, remember V is equal to IR. So each of those voltage drops across the three um, those three resistors is going to be the resistor times the net current. So the net current through here is going to be IA minus IB. That's the first voltage drop. The next voltage drop is the 6 IA. And the last voltage drop is going to be 3 times IA minus IC. And all of that has to equal zero. Now let's take mesh at IB. So the first voltage drop, we're going to take the first sign that we run into, which is the minus sign. So that's going to be negative 230. And then plus um, the voltage drop across the 1 ohm resistor is going to be 1 times IB minus IA plus 2 times IB minus IC. Plus, last one, uh, plus 115 volts, plus uh, 4 times IB, all that has to equal 0. And then our final mesh is mesh at IC. So the first sign we run across on this voltage drop when we're going counterclockwise is minus 115. So minus 115 plus 2 times IC minus IB plus 3 times IC minus IA. And then the first sign we run across on this voltage, uh, this independent voltage source, is the plus sign. So that's going to be plus 460. And the last voltage drop is going to be 5 times IC. All that equals 0. All right, so now we're going to build a matrix. Three, um, we're going to put all coefficients on one side for I A, I B, and I C, and constants are on the other side. So from the mesh at I A, the I A has coefficients one plus six plus three. I B has negative one. I C has negative three. And no constants. Mesh at IB, we have for IA, we have coefficient of negative 1, and that's it. And for IB, we have 1 plus 2 plus 4. And then for constants, oh, for IC, we have negative 2, and that's it. And then for constants, the negative 230 will go on the other side as positive 230. And the 
115 will come on the other side as negative 115. Those are our constants. Now, mesh at IC, we have negative 3 for IA, and then for IB we have 2, um, 2, negative 2, excuse me. Um, and then for IC, we have 2, 2 plus 3, plus 5. And then constants on the other side, the negative 115 will come on the other side as positive 115. And then positive 460 will go on the other side as minus 460. Now I'm going to take a second to verify that I didn't make any mistakes. 163 minus 1 minus 3, 0. Minus 1, 124 minus 2, 230 minus 115. Negative 3, negative 2, 2 plus 3 plus 5. And then 115 minus 460. Okay, so go ahead and put that in your simultaneous problem solver. And your answer should be, your answer should be IA is equal to negative 10.6 amps. IB is 4.4 amps. IC is negative 36 0.8 amps. Those are the three curves. Okay, so we, for part A, we need to find out how much power is developed. Resistors never develop power. They only use up power. They're passive circuit elements. Active circuit elements are the independent voltage sources. And just because they're voltage sources doesn't mean that they um, give a charge. They either, they're either going to develop charge for the closed circuit or they will receive a charge. And so let's figure out what each of these circuit elements do. P, the power either dissipated or developed by the 230 volt is going to be, well, P is equal to VI. We're going to take the first sign. So the I that we're going to use is obviously IB, right? So here's our I. IB is 4.4. And the sign that we're going to take for the power is going to be the first sign that the current positive current encounters. That's going to be negative. So that's going to be negative times negative 230. Okay, um, so that is going to give me negative 112 watts. That tells me this is developing power for this closed circuit. So let's take a look at the 115. So we have the power of the 115 volts. Okay, so we're going to look at the current that goes through that. The net current that goes through that is going to be the IB minus IC, right? So IB minus IC, 4.4, minus times a negative is a positive, so plus 36.8 amps. And then the first sign that you see is going to be a positive sign, so that's going to be plus 115. Okay, so when you multiply that, you will find that it, the, that is equal to 40, positive 47.38 watts. That means this particular circuit element is receiving a charge, is dissipating power, so it's not developing power. And then this one here is going to be, there's only IC going through that, so P of 460 volts is equal to IC, which is negative 36.8 amps. And then the voltage, the sign of the voltage is going to be the voltage the first sign that you see, that's positive, so plus 460 volts. So the power of that is, um, it's going to be negative power, which means it's developing power. So this is going to be negative 16,928. So there are two voltage sources that are developing power. This and this, and when you add them together, you're going to come up with PDEV is equal to 17,940. So that is how much power is developed by those two voltage sources. We need this one for part B. It's asking us for part B, what is the, um, so 
we have to show that power developed is equal to power dissipated. So we have to account for everything that dissipates power. So the first one is the 115 volt, um, 115 volt, um, which is, um, the 115 volt independent voltage source. There, I can speak after all. So let's go ahead and count for the rest of them. There's one ohm, six, three, two, four, and five. And so since we're using the mesh method, it makes sense that we use the version of P as I squared R. So P power dissipated by each of those resistors is going to be I squared times R. So it's going to be one times something squared, six times something squared, three times something squared, two times something squared, and four and five times something squared. That something is going to be the current. I'm going to move this up here. So P, 115, is equal to 47.38 watts. Okay, so let's figure out this something squared. So the 1 ohm resistor has net current going through it of IA minus IB squared. So that's going to be negative 10.6 minus IB, which is 4.4. Okay, I'm going to go through and make sure. Alright, and that gives me 225 watts. Through the 6 ohm resistor, we have just IA, so that's going to be negative 10.6 squared. And when I do that math, I'll get 674. 16 watts. Okay, through the 3 ohm resistor, we have IA minus IC. So that's going to be IA is negative 10.6 amps. IC minus times a double negative, so that's going to be plus 36.8 amps squared. And that will give me 2059.32. 2059.32 watts. And then through the 2 ohm resistor, we have a net current of IB minus IC. So that's going to be 4.4 minus a negative is going to be plus, so plus 36.8 quantity squared. And that will give me 3394.38. watts. And then for um, the 4 ohm resistor has only IB going through that, so that's going to be 4.4 squared. That will give me a net total of 77.44 watts. And the last resistor is the 5 ohm resistor, and that has only IC going through it. So that's going to be negative 36.8 quantity squared. And that will give me 6,771, 67.71.2. Two. So when you add all that together, you'll come up with the conclusion that power dissipated, so the 5 resistor plus the power dissipated by the 115 um, volt independent voltage source is going to equal 17,940. Power dissipated equals power developed, so that's our proof that that was the right answer. Okay, you guys, make sure to like the Facebook link of this problem if you received help. Um, let's get, uh, find, get people discovering it so that this channel becomes more interactive. Thanks.